Have you ever taken a Facebook quiz that promised to tell you how intelligent you are based on how you perceive images? While they may seem less than scientific, you can learn a surprising amount about how your mind works by looking at certain pictures. Find out which images put your mind to the test and learn how one single dress led to a scientific breakthrough in 10 photos to test your intelligence. Did you know only 80% of people can see the subscribe button on their screen right now? If you're one of the lucky ones, better press it so you don't miss out on more videos. Perceptual speed. This picture may look quite simple. After all, it's just white text on a green background. But this is designed to test your intelligence by measuring your perceptual speed. Perceptual speed is your ability to quickly see and compare patterns and symbols. So it's not just a matter of whether or not you can locate the F, but how quickly you can do so. This type of intelligence falls under the general umbrella of processing speed, which means how quickly you can carry out simple cognitive tasks. While perceptual speed alone doesn't measure intelligence, it's a very important component. If you can find the F quickly, you're likely to find A's on your next report card. While there are biological factors at play, your perceptual speed can be improved by expanding your knowledge base and experience. In this example, knowing that a capital E has a line at the bottom of the letter, whereas a capital F does not, can help you locate it more quickly. Little blue or white dress. Oh yes, it's that infamous picture of a dress that caused so much controversy a while back. Brother turned against brother, friends became enemies, and marriages crumbled as we steadfastly defended our convictions regarding the color of a dress. It turns out the dress itself actually is black and blue, and not white and gold as so many of us saw. There's no argument so petty that science can't solve it. So scientists placed volunteers in an MRI scanner and had them look at the image. People who saw the dress as white and gold had extra activity in their brain's frontal and parietal cortex. This means their brains were working overtime to make sense of what their eyes were seeing. Some good ended up coming out of the battle of blue and white. Scientists were able to quantify the areas of the brain involved in the process, and this has laid the foundation for further study of visual processing. The spinning wheel. While a standard IQ test is the most well-known way to measure intelligence, it isn't perfect. A simple optical illusion may be able to reveal even more about your intelligence. Take a look at this image. It should look like it's spinning around, but how fast does it appear to be going, and what parts seem to be moving? During a study at the University of Rochester, scientists concluded that the people with a higher IQ are less adept at seeing large motions happening in the illusion. It makes sense that a key component to intelligence is filtering out unnecessary information. This shows a brain that is more efficient. They further theorized that if seeing the larger movement was critical to the task, that people with higher IQs would see that part first instead. Visual Spatial This test lets you play with blocks without the danger of potentially stepping on a Lego. It presents a cube made out of three different colored pieces shows you what two of the pieces look like, and asks you to find the third piece. This test seems like the kind of stuff we did as children using building blocks, so how does this relate to our intelligence as adults? Pictures like these test your visual spatial processing. This measures our ability to organize visual information into meaningful patterns, even if the patterns move or rotate. Researcher Kim Vincente discovered that a high visual spatial processing ability correlates with being able to perform tasks faster than those with a low visual spatial processing ability. This is the sort of intelligence that helps you impress others with your ability to solve a Rubik's Cube. Determining Sequence This picture shows a sequence of squares and symbols, but can you figure out what the next square should look like? In a study known as the Human Connectome Project, participants had their brains scanned by an MRI, and then scientists were asked to predict how well the subjects would perform certain tasks. A pattern test, much like this one, was included in the test. It turns out, the more the various regions of your brain communicate with each other, the better you are at solving these types of puzzles. This means you're able to quickly process and analyze information. If this one was too hard for you, don't fret. Scientists hope that eventually the results from this project could help all people become smarter. By analyzing the brains of students, schools can tailor their lesson plans to the way very specific students learn the best. Herring Illusion Called the Herring Illusion after physiologist Ewald Herring, these optical illusions feature two lines that appear to be bending outwards, but are actually straight. Herring discovered that our brains tend to overestimate the angles between the red lines and the blue ones. Although it makes us perceive the picture as being different than it is in reality, could falling for this illusion show that we are more focused on the future than the present? Pay attention next time you walk through a doorway. The doorframe may seem to bow out as you walk through it. When we look through this image, our brains expect the vertical lines to appear similarly to the doorframe we might encounter in real life. So we aren't looking at the image incorrectly per se, our brains are just trying to prepare us for the future. Well, a couple of seconds into the future, but the future nonetheless. Recognizing visual patterns. No, this isn't a picture of a crazy alien language. It's an intelligence test designed to test your ability to recognize visual patterns. 
This type of intelligence is said to correspond the most strongly with general intelligence. Seeing order in a chaotic environment is something we all use in our daily life, especially if we take public transit. Searching for visual patterns is simple in theory. Be on the lookout for changes in color, shape, size, and rotation. Being able to spot visual patterns shows your capacity of reasoning and logic. If you look closely at the picture, you can see what may at first glance appear to be scribbles are actually numerical in nature. Each image shows two of the same numbers rotated to different degrees. That should be enough of a hint to help you find the answer. Shades of Gray If Morpheus offered you these two pills, which one would you take? The red one or the blue one? Or wait, do both of those pills look gray to you? Similarly to the disputed dress illusion we discussed earlier, the real secret to this illusion lies in how our brains interpret the data that our eyes are sending. It was created by Michael Abrash, a scientist who specializes in virtual reality and has seen The Matrix way too many times. He created this homage to the hit film in order to explain how our brains perceive colors differently. Our eyes can only see so many colors and transfers that limited data to our brains who then have to make sense of it. If you were one of the people who saw the pills as red and blue, your brain was interpreting the data it received in a very simple manner. However, if your brain was able to see the true colors of the pills, gray, it was working overtime on this one. Processing speed. You may recognize these spot the difference pictures from when we were children and saw similar ones in the latest issue of Highlights Magazine. But these pictures are more than a great way to pass time at the waiting room at the doctor's office. They also measure your processing speed. When administered correctly with an element of timing involved, these tests can show how quickly you're able to perform cognitive tasks. Of course, outside factors such as anxiety or stress can negatively affect your performance so it's essential these tests are monitored carefully. So relax, take a deep breath, and tell us how many differences you can spot in these pictures. Do your best. Research shows that it may be possible to train your brain in order to speed up your cognitive abilities in the future. How many animals can you see? We know that processing speed can denote intelligence, but now for something more challenging. Our last entry showed a scene that we encounter frequently, but how do you fare against a more unusual test? People have been scratching their heads over this picture. At first glance, you may see some familiar animals, but how many total can you find? And more importantly, regarding your intelligence, how quickly can you find them? You may have gotten the elephant right away, but how long did it take you to find the crocodile? Or maybe it's an alligator. I guess it depends on whether he'll see you later or in a while. What's your favorite optical illusion? It's fascinating to see how our brains process information and what something as simple as a picture can say about our intelligence. To keep your mind sharp, Make sure to subscribe to the Hub for more videos. Thanks for watching.